Mary McLeod Bethune. She was born July 10, 1875, in Maysville, South Carolina. She died on May 18, 1995, in Dayton Beach, Florida, at the age of 79, and considering the time period, it was a long life she lived. Mary's parents, Patsy and Samuel McLeod, were both slaves on the Macintosh and McLeod plantations in Maysville, South Carolina. Mary's parents were eventually freed and they saved up money to buy a small farm where they could work and where Mary would lend a helping hand along with her 16 other siblings. This is Mary's birth home from when she was growing up with her family. Uh, based on the distance from the school to the house, it was a far distance for Mary would walk five miles to and from school every day. And when she would get home from school, she would sit around with her family, telling them everything she would learn, like if she was a teacher to them. Um, after like a few years, they, their only mule died so the family needed everybody present to pitch in so they wouldn't lose their home. So for that reason, Mary had to drop out of school to be there at the house for their family. As previously stated, Mary had 16 other siblings. Mary was the only one who was born free. However, some of her siblings eventually became free. They were also not lucky enough to receive scholarship money like Mary. Because of this, Mary moved to the Scotia Seminary School for Girls in Concord, North Carolina. She was the only child who was able to attend school. Because Mary was the only one of her siblings who had the opportunity to attend school, she decided to do thing great things and make her family proud. The following is a quote from Mary McLeod Bethune, which says, As long as Negroes are hemmed into racial blocks of prejudice and pressure, it will be necessary for them to bond together for economic betterment. This goes to say how Mary wa wanted to grant an opportunity to for others to become like become better than what um, others were. Not only did she grant them an opportunity, but she led them to a slightly better life than what her family and many went through by opening a school for them. After Mary graduated from school, she heard that there was a group of the South population that were going to work for the railroad in Daytona, Florida. She moved to Florida and purposely purchased a four-room cottage and created the Daytona Normal and Industrial Institute for Girls. The school quickly went from five students to 250 students in two years. This was a turning point for Negro, Negro girls wanting an education.
The Bethman-Cookman University was an improvement to the school that she that Mary first made for the Negro girls to get an education. This is considered one of the noteworthy accomplishments um, that related that are related to education. The school gained popularity and it ended and ended up combining the Cookman Institute for Men, which then transformed into this university that was founded in 1923. Mary served as the president, and this was one of the many few colleges in the nation that accepted black students until the year of 1942. A few years after opening her own school, Mary founded the National Council of Negro Women in New York City. She did this to help Negro women gain equality. Eventually, President Franklin Roosevelt appointed her as director of the Division of Negro Affairs of the National Youth Administration. She did this from 1936 to 1943. She helped many Negro youth women gain an education by doing this. This is Mary's headstone, which is located at the Bethlehem Cookman University. Her headstone says, She has given her best that others may live a more abundant life. This goes on to say how Mary devoted her life to get her education and then devoted her time in life granting education for those who didn't have the opportunity whatsoever. She also granted others to live a better life with this education and she also fought for racism to be over to allow others of many racism to go to schools no matter where it was. This is a statue in Washington, D.C. dedicated to Mary Bethune. Everyone was very grateful for her and everything that she accomplished throughout her life. While she was young, she dedicated herself to gaining an education. And soon after, she dedicated her life to help Negro girls have an opportunity to attend school. Soon after, she dedicated another part of her life to help everyone, especially women, gain equality and stop racism throughout the country. This quote is also from Mary Bethune, which says, Without faith, nothing is possible. With faith, nothing is impossible. This goes to show how Mary Bethune was a very inspirational woman in which she did so much, not only for herself or her family, but for others she didn't even know. And she granted everything to them, education, she fought for racism, and if many don't know who Mary Bethune is, it is recommended to look her up for everything she did, for she, as mentioned before, is a very inspirational woman. <laughs>